Go to the latest on the Kerry Kennedy trial, the daughter of Robert Kennedy taking the stand to defend herself against a charge of driving under the influence of Ambien. ABC's Mara Schiavocampo has the story. Testifying for almost three hours Wednesday, Carrie Kennedy said this is simply a case of mixed up medicine, telling the jury, quote, I thought I was taking my thyroid medication, adding that the incident left her, quote, confused and scared. Defense attorneys presented the near identical bottles of Kennedy's prescription thyroid medicine and a generic form of Ambien, as Kennedy recounted the July 2012 morning when she says she accidentally took the prescription sleep aid instead of a thyroid pill before eating a breakfast of carrots and cappuccino and heading to the gym. On the stand, she said she didn't realize anything was wrong, saying, quote, if I realized I was impaired, I would have pulled over. But Kennedy sideswiped a tractor trailer. Her defense said she was sleep driving. I have no memory until I was stopped at a traffic light. The 54-year-old faces a single misdemeanor count of driving while impaired. The normally private Kennedy spent several minutes on the stand talking about her very public family, affectionately referring to her father, the late Robert F. Kennedy, as, quote, daddy, and talking about his assassination, saying, quote, my father died when I was eight. He was killed when he was running for president. Some jurors would probably be enamored with it and would have great compassion for her because of her background, while other jurors may think that she's trading off the name. Prosecutors say Kennedy was careless and taking the wrong pill, should have realized she wasn't feeling well and only cares about preserving her public image. Today, the defense will call one more witness, a forensic pharmacologist, before both sides make their closing arguments. The case is expected to wrap today and could go to the jury in the morning. Kennedy has pleaded not guilty. Lara? All right, Mara, thank you very much.